What's up guys, Takedown here with another story time video for you. As the thumbnail and the title suggest, this is episode 6. It is about a lock picking contest that me and my friend had in high school. And there's a few other things leading up to this um, that makes sense. So in high school, I never skipped too often. I skipped classes that didn't matter, so MSIP, which is kind of like a study hall, I've skipped that a handful of times. But mostly I've skipped stuff like events at school, so when the school had Farm Day or Hick Day or whatever whatever they called it, I would skip that because I wasn't into farming or Hick stuff, even though most of the area is. I wasn't, so I would just go to the beach with me and my friends, or we'd go and hang out or walk around or do whatever. But we did get into a lot of trouble. That's mostly what this video is about. And it is criminalizing. Um, some of the stuff is criminal, I guess. And stuff we shouldn't have done. Now I, I, I know now not to do it. And I'm not this way anymore. But some of the stuff we did. Because we were like rebels. And we didn't think we were doing anything wrong. That's the most part. So where I'm from. Um, people that watch this video from my area. If they, anyone does. There's this area called the Point, which is the locks um, near the St. Lawrence. By that, by that road you go up, there's this forest which says states right on it, no trespassing. Us being rebels, we decided we're going in that, and that's what we did one day. Coming out, though, um, there was literally nothing. There was a, a wagon in there. We didn't get too far in. Some of them were scared, so a lot of us just backed out and just, okay, well, we're not going in. If not, everybody's going in. But on our way out, um, there was a cop coming by. And that day, I think, is one of the days we were skipping Farm Day or one of those school events that you just don't want to go to. Um, and the cop was going by, and we were on the road. We're missing one friend. We're like, where the hell did he go? Um, so we're talking to the cop. Cop's like, what, what are you guys doing? Well, the school's having this event. We weren't interested. We know we know the cop could tell us to go back. The cop can do that. We weren't going to lie to the cop. We just didn't tell him what we were just doing. Um, so he said, well, okay. He's like, I, I understand some of that stuff. You're not into. He's like, what time do you have to be back by? I said, well, the next class starts at such and such time. Or maybe the buses come pick us up in such and such time. I can't remember what time of day it was. So he's like, okay, as long as you're back by then, you guys aren't causing a problem. You guys are being safe. Carry on. <clears throat> unknowing in our uh, in the forest we had one friend lingering he didn't realize there's a cop there um he's yelling in, in in there and the cops looking like what's this you guys are here and there's i hear it's like somebody yelling so he didn't know if somebody was yelling for help or anything but then all of a sudden um i looked over and i seen him about to come out and i kind of waved like behind me so the cop didn't see so that would have busted us right there because he would have known if there was one of us in there, we likely all would have and we all would have been sent back and probably in a little bit of trouble. So that's one thing. Another thing we did, um, um, maybe I shouldn't say this on a story time video, but we went and we destroyed the locks at the beach. We took rocks and our lodge is we're going to try to get in there because I think it might have been a bad day and... We wanted to wait it out. We thought going inside the building, the small little shack building, was our safest bet. So we tried to smash the locks and the door handle to get in. Smash it, didn't get in because it was still locked. Um, so on our way back, the township truck came, which they're the ones that clean up the whole area. And they came and they, they, they stopped us and they seen it and we pointed it out. But we didn't let on we did it. We just said there was some older kids there and this is probably 10th grade or so. So that was probably one of the worst criminalizing things I have done. Stupidest thing I've done. But now into the lock picking contest, which is the most fun we had because it didn't work out. So if it did, we would have been in shit, but it didn't. So we're okay. And what that is, is an auto shop uh, or any shop, wood shop, auto shop, you're not allowed to make any kind of weapons. You're supposed to make stuff um, for the shop, if you have to fabricate anything, it's for the shop, and the teacher is always watching everybody. Well, what me and my friend decided to do was, uh, we're looking into lock picking. We wanted to do like a contest at the beach. There was doors, change rooms. We basically, we just wanted to get in the change rooms. So 
um, a previous video I said um, about going to the beach and uh, at the end of the school year and doing kind of our thing. But one thing we decided to do was to try to pick the locks to get into there so we have an area to change in. It's actually the change room. So we're, we're breaking into like a building to steal anything. We're breaking into the building to have a change area. And that's what we thought in our mind. We didn't think there was anything wrong with it. Of course there was, you're breaking and entering anyways. But I can't remember what my friend was using as like the lock picking tool. But what I was using was a old used um, na um, auto file like one of the, the metal files for auto shop, um, dull, so the, the teacher's basically throwing it away. So I ended up taking it, and the other end where it's really thin, it's really hard, but I thought that was the thinnest point of it. Luckily, the teacher had a old wooden cabinet with a deadbolt in the auto shop. So what we did was we basically went, made sure it was the right thickness, looked up YouTube videos on how to pick locks, and basically I grinded it down to um, the thinness it did to be able to get into the lock. So the thickness of a key, which was a lot of work, hiding it from the teacher behind his back, doing a little bit. And then when the teacher came over, just stopping and like grinding what we're actually supposed to be grinding. So we didn't see what we were making, but unknowingly, I know now why it didn't work because whenever Anything like that, screwdrivers, stuff like that, files especially, uh, chisels, they're hardened. And we didn't harden it. We took that hardness off and we grinded them thin, but we didn't re-harden it, which would have been a lot of work to do. And we weren't thinking that at the time. So needless to say, um, once, once made, went to the beach, his tool wasn't working much. We tried um, paper clips, they weren't working, they wouldn't do anything. We didn't have a professional set, which is what we were going to do just for shits and giggles, but we didn't want to buy a professional set. That's why we made the contest to make our own. But whenever I put the file into the lock and turn it, literally it, it was like butter. It just broke right off, just one twist, it's in the lock, stuck. And I was like, well, that was our only opportunity. So lock picking was a huge fail. And then they had a little gate um, for the concession stand. So we thought if we can get into there, we can use that as a change room. So whenever we put the file underneath the rest of the file, pop up on it, it snapped instantly. So we didn't get to do anything um, with it. We attempted to pick locks and <laughs> probably it, it was a really stupid thing to do. Um, I would say using the rocks to break, try to break into the place. Um, which I said a minute ago, it's probably the stupidest thing I've ever done. But to me, it was worth sharing in a story time. So I hope you guys did enjoy. This was episode number six. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying these series about my past, my high school, my experiences, my memories. A lot of these tie into high school. So that's where I'm going to be sharing it in like high school groups and that. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.